current maritime we do a lot of offshore work and work around cranes and so we're familiar with heavy lift operations. Over the last two days has basically been the heavy lift culmination of, of three separate projects. We've got Conti House is what we're calling it, it came off of a supply boat. We've got the Godzilla crane and we have the new DB Avalon which is the deck barge that was built at Conrad. And so basically the last two days was us taking those three pieces and integrating them together. It's an ambitious project with an ambitious timeline. We have to work as a team to get through it. This whole thing has really started with Martin and Jason's vision, and we're basically like implementing their dreams. They know what they want, and they're quick decision makers, and then we just charge. Every day, the plan changes, and halfway through the day, we just we try to move people around to optimize production. Throughout the process, being able to keep moving the right people and the pieces around, shackles, rigging, all everything set up. All the rigging for the lifts was all engineered by our in-house engineering team and provided by a company down here in the Gulf called Versabar. We've got engineering spreader bars and rigging. When it comes to the execution of those critical days, the lift days, a lot of planning and organization and everyone working as a team to get from A to B and getting the crane from one barge to another is a huge milestone in the project. So DV Thor is pretty amazing. It's a 1,600 ton ocean-going offshore crane barge. It's got an Amclyde crane on it, owned by a company called Shore Offshore. And basically, we bring the, the Shinsho barge in first, which has got the Godzilla crane on it. We rig into it. We do our final cut. We take about 200 tons of hook weight on the crane, and we start ballasting the barge out from underneath the hook because we don't want the crane to get out of level. So as we filled the barge, it began to sink, and as we lifted the crane, it began to lift. And after uh, hours of ballasting time, we finally got to the point where there was almost all of the weight hanging on the crane hook. And at that moment, when we were very close, Martin Kirken made the call to take the final amount of weight, and the only thing we heard were the sounds of small sheet metal shims falling out of the perimeter of the pedestal as the crane came free of the old barge. Godzilla lift was about 600 metric tons. We pull that barge out. We bring the DB Avalon in. We set the crane back down. Again, we put about 200 tons on the ring, and then we start pumping ballast out so the barge comes up and meets it. Then we start welding. We have to get at least uh, eight linear feet of weld on there. We landed on a fantastic pilot house, a great bridge layout, it has great visibility, and it looks good on the barge. So we were able to find this and salvage it, save it from a, from a scrapyard, and repurpose it for this purpose. Now that these two pieces are on here, and the barge is here, it's all in one spot, and now, now it's go time. All the gear is in one spot, and now it can all get outfitted and come to fruition. We've created this really incredible piece of technology and gear that can do all the things that Martin had visualized, a really effective uh, dredging tool for Kurt Maritime.